hey beauties what's up what's up today i am going to do a little something something i don't know what i'm doing as yet but i can tell you this look came together by just coming together see i just picked up a brush and i just started coloring i didn't know what i was going for today but yeah that's what we're going to do today Okay, so what we're doing here is we're blending royal blue into the crease area and a little above the crease area. Um, this is going to be our base shade for the eyeshadow look. I think it's going to be our base shade because like I said, I didn't know what look I was going for. I just know I wanted to use blue today and some other color, that's it. <laughs> Grabbing a fluffy blending brush, we're going to go over, just making sure the eyeshadow is seamlessly blended. Seems like we lost a little of the blue shade in the crease, a little bit of the color from the shadow. So we're just um, focusing basically on the crease area with that blue, darkening the area. Okay, now if I can remember, I think this was um, a bluish, greenish shade I used in my crease area. I'm not sure. Let me look at a palette. Yes, it's green. It's, it's more of like a greenish, bluish color I used um, on the other eye. So I'm doing basically the same thing I did to the other eye with the blue. I'm just spreading that green all over the eye. Um, not all over the eye, but in the crease area and above the crease area. What I'm doing is making sure that crease is what is standing out 
on the eyes so I'm just going in with the darkest blue um, shade and I'm just packing that in the suit. Oh, and if you guys haven't watched Gotham on Netflix, y'all need to watch it. If it seems like I'm not focused, I am. I'm just back and forth between the TV and the camera watching Gotham. It's, it's a good series. Okay, so I took like the darkest green shade. And what I'm doing is I am carving out where I would love to place my concealer. The shape I'm going for. So... Um, I'm using the darkest color from for each eye in the crease and around the crease area to define where I want to cut. Grabbing my flat concealer brush and some concealer, I'm going to now then carve out, just basically trace out the pattern. I stapled there with the shadow, so I'm just, um, I just use that as a guideline and I just um, traced over it with the concealer. Taking a makeup wipe, I'm just going to um, erase some of the concealer off the eyelid. I think at this point, I'm going to try and do some type of double cut crease. I guess it didn't work out. Like I said, I didn't know what I was going for. I just decided to do makeup and just was like, hey, we use the new colors and let's see how it goes. Okay, so apparently I'm using a lighter blue um, just below the cut crease. I'm using a lighter blue color.
Okay, so how I got the pink, I don't know, but I just put pink all over the lid. And I'm doing a nice um, cut crease, and I put pink all over one lid. And I um, applied purple on the next. No, I actually was just doing like a more nudish eye on this eye I'm doing, and then it didn't work out, so I just put purple over that. Okay, so with the smaller concealer brush, I um, added basically a wing. With the concealer, I shaped out a wing, and that's where um, my shimmer would go. Yeah, that's where my shimmer of my choice would go for that eye. Okay, and I'm back. I applied the shimmer. I used a gold shimmer on the pink eye, and I used the grayish green shimmer on the next eye. Moving on to foundation, I'm using two foundation today. Number 375, which is Java, and number 370, which is Deep Bronze, the Bronze Intense. Yes, I normally do mix my foundation. Um, yeah, during the summertime because. My skin tends to change a lot. So we're going to mix those two foundations and apply it. Using an angle foundation brush, we're going to blend out the foundation. I can't look at you with 
Okay, for concealers today, we're using a lighter foundation color. Um, I think it's beautiful bronze. Beautifully bronze. Is it? Yeah, I think it's beautiful bronze by Sydney. Now that my concealer is all blended, I'm going to then set my concealed areas. Oh wow, I can't believe that skipped. I swear thought, I swear thought I um, kept that in. Now I'm mad because I did like a, a, a nice little cooler blow of the um, setting powder in the camera. Oh my god, it was going to be epic, but I guess I missed that part. Of what I'm doing now is bronzing and blushing up the face you can barely see it but it's there because the lighting i'm using is very bright but it's there now we're going to intense up the bottom lash line um with some pink shadow some pink shadow for this eye and we're going to use a nice bluish green shadow for the other eye. Now we're going to add our nice gold shimmer in the inner tear ducts to open up my eye. Time for finishing powder. We're going to grab a fluffy powder brush and we're just going to apply my Sydney um, face powder over the entire face.
now grabbing that um, fluffy blending brush you're going to add um, the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Highlight Palette on my highlighted areas I had to um, take my time and say that because in most of my videos I um, normally does mess up does mess up the name when I'm saying it but it is BH Cosmetics while we read it so if I'm wearing any highlighter it's going to be that one in the majority of my videos so excuse me and I'm sorry um, if I said the incorrect name Now we're going to do my famous um, nude lip. I didn't know which way to go with this look, either a bold lip or a nude lip, but the eyes are already bold. So we're going to go with a nice nude lip. We took a black liner first and then we took our Princessa Brown Lip Pencil and we blended it in the lip. Adding gloss to finish it off. We are just almost to the finish line. We are just almost to the finish line. If you made it this far, thank you so much because, yeah, this is a long video. This is a long video. Set and seal, and we are ready to go. Oh man, the struggle is real. The struggle is real. So yeah, I had to borrow Hubby's phone right quick. If you ever see any of my photos online, Instagram or Facebook, I'm normally taking them with this phone here. This phone, I love it. It shows details. It just, if you could look in the phone, it just, it, it looks beautiful. So thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.